getting married. Hey, stupid. It's the boy Cole Red for the daily blog. Actually, this is part two of the blog one. I just want to add a little another piece to it, you dig? And I hit y'all with another one next week. But um, I just want to touch on the whole Dipset, Jim Jones, Cameron situation, Stack B, Max B. You dig? Whole bunch of bullshit going on. Like, a lot of niggas, just, once they get a little position, a little power, and a little more chains than they usually have, it's like the real, the, the true, the true self come out of their bitch ass. And when I say that, I mean Jimmy. And Jewels, first of all, like the, the first situation where let me let y'all know why Cam got pissed off from the giddy up. These bitch ass niggas, knowing niggas supposed to be beefing or whatever, back and forth with the boy 50 and all that, right? So, what do they do? What do they do? These knuckleheads go hop on a stage with the nigga, do a show with the nigga and all that. So, what the fuck do you expect this nigga to do? Yeah, he caught a little feelings off that and all that, even though True G's don't get emotional, but it wasn't even about emotions, you hear? It was about respect. Y'all niggas really stepped out of y'all boundaries with that shit, like, you know what I mean? Y'all niggas already know, like, what it is, what it is, like, I can't, I won't even say I can't, but I won't get into certain names and situations behind the scenes. It's just something I ain't gonna do. When them niggas wanna step up and say what they gotta do, say what they wanna say, and you already know, listen to Chubby Baby, he done put a lot of niggas on with a lot of the real situation going on behind the scene, you heard? Anyway, basically that's that's all it is, man. Just basically, Jim, you gotta stop being on that bitch shit now, man. Change your numbers, fall them back off all everybody. I mean, like, I mean, everything, we good, man. I, a lot of niggas ain't even gonna fuck with you anyway now because they see the type of snake is in your bitch ass, nigga. And niggas already know you in internet blood. I don't, a lot of bloods don't let you slip and slide through with a pass. Cause you know what I mean, niggas was paying like they way. But, you know what I mean, I don't really know the whole situation. When I, when I brush past you in the OB, B, B on Rankers Island, you already know who I was and what I be and what I is and how I is and why I be, what I be, you dig? Anyway, <clears throat> you was always quiet as a mouse. You slipped in, slipped out, next you know, I, I, oh my OG this, my OG that. But anyway, back off that, back to the man shit, nigga. You just need to man up. Right your wrongs, you bitch ass nigga, some way, some somehow, with the few niggas that you can do it with. And uh <sighs> niggas might let you live, man. But uh don't think shit can't happen or shit won't happen. So niggas done it's been close situations, you already know the situation, nigga. Like, we well, already know the situation, but you already was in one's close situation, nigga. And uh the whoop whoop nigga saved that ass. In another situation where I heard of, I wasn't around on that uh, Max B and the boy Frenchy. Shout out to Frenchy. <sighs> Got that on a little, little, little DVD. Like, I don't know, man. It's like this, this, this music shit can really get or go away. You know what I mean? Shout out to the boy 50 anyway, you know what I mean? I respect the dude. I ain't gotta like him, I ain't gotta hate him. We already had our situation. But not a face-to-face -face confrontation, but man, yeah, I mean him and my brother, whatever, whatever, that's something different off the scene, off the off the menu, but years ago, whatever, whatever. Anyway, I respect what you're doing, 50. It is what it is. It's gonna be what it's gonna be regardless. Tony, see you sliding through there in the Bentley, coming through Far Rock, nigga. Picking up the boy and all that. But uh anyway, it's your boy Cole Red signing off, giving y'all a little dip. On a dip set situation. I already know why B. Cole read the lyrical assassin. East side till I die. Oh, yeah, and another thing. This here, this was brought to New York by me. Sanctioned on Rikers Island by Magoo, Dizzy, and, and Pimp. Before, like when I first, yeah, you know I mean, when I first hit NY, a lot of homies didn't even know how to stack and none of that. Like, I bought that. A few other homies bought that from the West Side and all that. But yeah, the situations got out of the hand after other. You know, I ain't gonna get into that right now, anyway. But uh, anyway, everybody know this East Side came from Georgia. Yeah, Sue to the Bloods, Tree Tops, Pyrus. Ha ha ha. You already know. <laughs> Yo yo's, 
Real G's, Killer, P, Ra Ra, motherfucking uh, Wild Chow, WK, Wild Cowboys, you already know, man. Just state to state, nigga. I be all over, nigga. Ohio, New York, Florida, Georgia, NC. Niggas know this face, boy. A lot of different names. But Cole Red is the name, I'm telling y'all motherfuckers, I don't need my name to connect to nothing, man. Y'all might know the face, but damn, the boy look familiar. You might do, but uh, y'all niggas better call me Cole Red, the lyrical assassin. East Side Up, 001020. True G's, you young G's, you young with you YB's, better, better respect the OG's, triple OG's, the Godfathers and all that. Cause without them, how would you be, nigga, what you be or how you is, you hear that? Respect, but you get checked. East Side, 001020. East side to the west side, like a million niggas marching. High from the beginning to the end. The alpha is the omega, the omega is the alpha. Without either, there will be none. You dig? If you don't understand where I'm coming from, you don't know where you're going. Ha ha ha. Isu Wasu. Not even gonna speak to Swahili right now. I'm a little twisted and toasted. You already know what it is. Double O 1020.